What is up, Storm Chasers? We have to get into Tamar Braxton reading JR, exposing JR. We didn't even know that Mr. Wonderbread was actually her husband. We had no clue. We didn't know. Okay? So we need to get into all of this, damn it. Uh, shout out to Tamar. I think she low-key made herself look like a fool, even if she wasn't trying to necessarily. But anyway. That's another story for another day. So I got to let y'all pull in here. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pull up her page. I know it takes a minute. Okay. Yeah, I know it takes a minute to come up. So, you know, share. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave that there. Come back down. I see Toys by Starlight. All right. I see Toys by Starlight. It takes a minute for the notification to go up. I don't know why YouTube be playing me like that. I don't know why YouTube be playing me. Okay. Let y'all come in. All right, Anna B. We got White Russian. Okay. We got Rayana. All right. Sonia. Renee. Okay, we got a lot going on. There y'all go. I was like, damn, where they at? Shout out to Love Jones. Okay. We're going to get right on into it. So, fair use, fair use, fair use. We'll go ahead and just make her big. Um, so shout out to Tamar. Um, let me first start off by saying Tamar Braxton and her on and off, uh, again, Wonder Bread. Sometimes it's stale, sometimes it's fresh. Uh, the white man that got allegedly four baby mamas, he's an attorney in Atlanta, specifically the Buckhead neighborhood, but apparently ain't got enough money to keep Tamar's living standards up to a certain point because Tamar is still living with her mother in Atlanta, although I don't really blame her for living in her mama condo because why pay for a place if you're traveling all the time anyway? And apparently this was her husband, but they didn't never litigate. It don't, it don't make a lot of sense, but a lot of things about Tamar don't make a lot of sense. Uh, she took him back after he had his very pink tongue all up and through uh, Tommy's butt. Um